Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my favorite wigs of 2022. Yes, I am about a month late. I usually do them at the end of December. I will have a playlist of all of my favorite wigs of um, from 2015 all the way up into 2022. If you wanna see what I loved in prior years, in previous years, you can watch those videos. So if you are interested in my hair that I have on, I think I have a review on this hair. This is a human hair curly wig. That'll be in the description box or on the info card. Okay, so I kind of felt like 2022 and 2021 was a little bit weird with wigs. Like, it's been a shift in the interest of wigs. Like, I feel like people still love wigs and everything, but it's just changed a lot since uh, 2020. Everybody knows in 2020, the headband wig trend was really huge. I don't think we had a trend in 2021 in 2022, the auburn and copper wigs were very popular. I did several on my channel. And the rise of like the baby hair attached wigs, like they'll have like baby hairs already attached to the wigs, like the edges, the curly edges and stuff. Now, personally, I thought those wigs, I have seen like the, the person who originally created those wigs, they look really good. But I feel like when human hair companies like took that idea in start to mass produce them. I don't think they got it right. A lot of the companies don't have it right. I'm gonna review one of those coming up this year. I wasn't, I'm not really a fan of the curly edge wigs. I think they're kind of weird. So those were the trends that I noticed in 2022. I don't know. I haven't been super excited about wigs and stuff like I used to be back in the day. I just, I just feel like the companies, they are doing different things like I've seen Outre do like colored roots and stuff like that but I'm not really into those kind of colors and stuff unless it has a yakky texture which a lot of companies don't do they, they haven't been doing that I'm kind of bored with synthetic wigs in a lot of ways but there have been some really good ones I have some on this list I have more I have more human hair ones on this list than I do synthetic ones and we'll get into that. Um, in 2022, I did try other styles outside of wigs as well because I was just like, wigs can be like boring sometimes. Like sometimes you just want to switch it up because there's so many hairstyles that black women can do and I wanted to participate as well. So um, I did knotless braids for my birthday and those were really pretty even though I only kept them in for like 10 days. Those were gorgeous and I took those out very quickly. Then I tried some regular box braids in like a blonde mix and it was very pretty. I, I enjoyed those. Um, and I did try a traditional sew-in with leave out for the first time because in 2022 was the first time in a very long time um, I was consistent with taking care of my natural hair. I was going to a natural hairstylist for, I, she cut my hair at the top of 2022 and I came every month and had her take care of my hair. And it's grown a lot. And I'm still on that journey. But I wanted to try a traditional sew-in with leave out because my hair was in a healthier state. And I enjoyed that. And I actually feel like my hair grew a lot in those two months of having that. And I will get a sew-in again. Yeah, so as far as like my expectation or what I wish to happen within the wig community in 2023. So I was, I just recently tried the Outre Dominican Blowout 22 inch U-part wig, which is a, it says human hair blend, which is basically just like a higher quality synthetic fiber. So I'd still consider it a synthetic wig. I didn't see anything on the packaging about curling it or anything like that. So I saw Is That Your Hair and Champagne review her before and it looks so natural because I have type four hair and when I press it out, it looks um, like kinky straight hair. So. That's what that wig looks like. I haven't featured it on my YouTube channel yet, but I put, but I posted a TikTok and a Instagram reel recently and it's beautiful. That wig is less than $30 and it is perfect. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I need backups because I can see myself wearing that a lot. It, don't, it does have a lot of snap, um, snap cones around the U part, which can be dangerous if you wear, wear it all the time because I feel like your hair is going to come out in the same way that if you wear the combs in any wig, your hair is going to come out eventually. But if you're going to wear it occasionally like a couple times a week or 
you know, once a week or something like that, you should be okay. Just be careful with that. But I love that. I would like companies to make more U-part wigs because I think Outre has the right idea, but they have it in their big, like beautiful curls collection. They don't have a lot of styles. What I would love if they had like Free Tress Hania in a U-part style or Sensational's Adana in a U-part because that's a very gl glamorous wig with a lot of nice barrel curls and it has that beautiful uh, kinky straight texture and you won't have to curl it. That's why I love, that's one thing I love about synthetic wigs. So I could just blend that with my leave out and then go. Now that's not gonna be, that's not gonna work for everybody because a lot of people have hair loss, but there's a lot of people who can wear U-part wigs. So that would be a nice option to have. And I did make a, a wig wish list last year with Still Looking Good 58 and Wheezy Wig Reviews. So if you wanna see that, you can watch that video from last year. So now I'm gonna get into the wigs that I loved in 2022. So I don't have a whole bunch of wigs on here because I didn't feel like just filling up a list just to fill it up. So first I'm gonna talk about the Kalai Hair Kinky Straight Fake Scalp Wig. So, well, I added a fake scalp to it. So it's a kinky straight texture. That's one of my favorite textures because it mimics what my natural hair looks like. Tested out the perfect, I tested out the perfect, the perfect line lace grid concealer and not eraser because one of my followers she recommended that i try this and you put this in your parting space so you can conceal the knots because a lot of times i don't have the materials and stuff to bleach my knots because i don't bleach my knots on my wigs like i used to back in the day so i tried that and that wig turned out really really pretty and i styled it very beautifully i'll have it on the side here yeah i i showed you guys what it looked like straight i cut some layers into it i'm pretty sure um, and then, then I did like this bang and half up, half down style. And it looked really, really pretty. Like I said, with the trends of 2022, a big one was the Auburn wigs. And I only have one on this list because I didn't like all of them, but this was my absolute favorite. This one is also from Kalai Hair. And this is their Auburn Kinky Straight wig. So my favorite texture and then it has color to it. And it was relatively affordable because a lot of kinky straight wigs or kinkier textures tend to be more expensive when they have color. So from companies like Curls Curls and Her Given Hair, they specialize in kinky curly textures and curly textures. That would have been way more expensive on their website. But Kalai Hair is a more affordable company and I really like this Auburn one. And I like that it was more Auburn than copper copper is more on the orange side and then auburn is more on the red side and i really like this one highly recommend that especially for the cooler moms like right now and i personally will always love headband wigs i wore one yesterday and i think it was this one that i wore um i reviewed the julia hair water wave headband wig last year um it's very very similar to the yg wigs one that i loved in 2020 they're just so clutch you just lay your edges down and you know wash it and let the the curls dry and everything and you have a style right away i feel like they're very uh beginner friendly you don't have to fool with lace and a lot of times the headband wigs look more natural than lace wigs because if you don't know how to melt lace your wig is gonna look bad but headband wigs are pretty foolproof now some people are like oh the headband gives it away who cares like your lace is gonna give it away that you have on a lace wig. So I just feel like headband wigs are still really good and they're not out of style for me. I'm probably gonna keep wearing headband wigs just forever cause they're so convenient and they look good with minimal effort and they're just universally flattering and approachable for any skill level. Okay, I only wore this wig one time but it was one of the most impressive wigs of 2022 that I tried. And it's the OMG Her Hair Deep Wave Lace Wig. So the hairline and the lace on the wig were, uh, it was it was perfection. The hairline and the lace was really, really good on this wig. It blended beautifully. And I wore it glueless and the curls look very beautiful. You're gonna see a trend with a lot of the human hair companies on this list. They are the more affordable companies and they've been consistent with me. Like. Kalai hair is on this list, Julia hair, OMG her hair, and Wild African, they're on here one time. 
Um, another company I'd like, but I don't have it on this list for this year because I didn't really work with them in 2022. I love my first wig and I love my quality hair as well. So if you're looking for a good human hair company, these are some of the companies that I really do love. So the next two wigs are pretty much the same wig, just from different companies. Um, the first one is Wow African's Yaki Straight Wig and then OMG Her Hair's Yaki Straight Wig. So I love both of them and I reviewed them in March and April of last year and they were beautiful. Like if it's not a kinky straight texture, my second favorite is going to be the Yaki Straight Texture because it just looks like um, relaxed hair and it looks beautiful. First of all, the texture was just off top, was just beautiful, but the lace was perfect and you could wear it glueless and it looked really good. So, but I like glueless installs, but if I want it to be laid, I'm still going to use like some even, some even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. I'm pretty sure I started using this in 2022 instead of the red bottle. The red bottle is good as well, but the black bottle has a better hold. So, um, you can, you're, you can't go wrong with either one, but this has a better hold in my opinion, from my experience. Um, so I love both of those wigs and I definitely need to pull those out very soon because I love sleek looks like that. And lastly, I'm going to mention the neat and sleek Nikki wig. So that was like one of my viral videos on Instagram and TikTok. And I tried other braided wig wigs last year, but like the copper one I tried in the fall, the knots were not bleached and it didn't look as realistic outside. But this Nikki wig, they bleached the knots. It was a, a natural black, natural black wig and it looked very natural outside and I was very impressed by it. It was just really good. I don't know why they didn't bleach the knots on the color 30 one that I tried, but on this one, it looked very natural. I still think that um, just like real braids look better, but this got really, really close and this is a great option for people who don't want to braid, get their hair braided or you can't get your, your hair braided because of hair loss or whatever. So um, if you're looking to invest in a really high quality braided wig, check out Nikki from Neat and Sleek. Okay, so um, over the last, I think the last two years, I have not reviewed as many synthetic wigs as I used to, just because I just don't feel the need to get the latest ones that drop because a lot of them just are the same. Like, I don't feel like the synthetic companies are doing a lot of cool stuff like they used to do. Yeah, it's still a whole bunch of wigs that I just didn't try last year, but I do have a lot for you guys to review this year and we'll see how I feel at the end of the year with some of these. But the ones that I have on my list here, I really enjoyed them last year. So the first one is not a wig that I tried for the first time last year, but it's a new color that I tried which is Sensational's Adana in the color Flamboyage Mocha. I tried her in the fall in that color and it was so beautiful. A gorgeous brown color and then it has some face framing blonde pieces. It was just very, very beautiful. And I just think Adana, Adana is really one of my favorite wigs of all time. And it's so funny when I first reviewed her in 2021, I was saying that I liked Dasha more, but Adana is that girl. She's that girl in all the colors I've tried. Uh, next is Outre Marissa and DRFF2 slash Vanilla Chocolate. That was my first time trying that color. And if you watch my channel a lot, you guys know, I don't really like blonde wigs. I used to wear blonde wigs like in 2015, something like that. But I don't like, I'm very picky with the blondes that I choose. So I feel like this one is the perfect blonde, especially for the cooler months, but I would wear this any time of year. It's just a nice subtle blonde. It's on the cool side and it's just more subtle. It's beautifully blended and I think Outre needs to make a lot more wigs with this same color mix. It's beautiful and outside of the color being beautiful, it's a nice yakky texture. It's um, not as long as Outre Katia, which I love as well. So it's, it's just like a really perfect wig and I do have it in a color number two now and I'm excited to try that because I like the texture on it. It's a nice wig, but I've been getting messages from people saying that color is out of stock a lot of places, which I'm not surprised because it's just a really gorgeous wig. So hopefully they do restock soon in that color. 
Um, I'll have all these wigs listed in the description box for you guys. Mainly the synthetic ones because it's easy to, you know, link those to Amazon. But I'll link the human hair ones as well with the original review in the description box. And any of the products and stuff that I mentioned, um, like this even Wonderlay spray. Next I have, I'm going to mention these two because they, they really were my favorite. The Sensational UD wigs. So I tried two of them last year, Sensational UD2. I tried at the beginning of the year, like March, which is more of a curly style. And then Sensational UD11 towards the end of the year. I love a half up, half down style, and these are affordable options to achieve that look. I think the design of them is horrible, and it's, it's not very, like, beginner friendly, because the combs on the ponytail part can be very difficult to wrap around and everything. But once you get the hang of wrapping the ponytail and everything. It's so beautiful and such a great look for like under $30. So I'm a big fan of the UD wigs, not all the styles, but I really enjoyed UD 11, which is more of a yakky texture, which was a lot easier to blend with my natural hair. And then the UD two is more of a curly texture. They do have, I'm thinking about getting, I think it's UD 12. I think it is. It's a tighter, curls and UD2. I'm probably gonna feature that on my channel soon, but I really like that collection. I just think they need to do better with how they design the combs and everything. Cause my combs broke on mine after wearing it just like a few times. So horrible design, but I love those and, wigs. And lastly, I wanted to mention Outre Dion. So I forgot what color that was. It was like chocolate truffle or something like that. That's another beautiful, color blend that Outre came out with and I would like to see it on other wigs. I like the style of Outre Dion as well. It was like a nice medium length. It wasn't too long because I like long wigs, but I don't like them as much as I used to. They just kind of get in the way. But um, I really enjoyed Outre Dion, especially in that color. That was all of my favorite wigs of 2022. I know this was a different vibe than my other uh, favorite wigs in years past, but I wanted to still get this out to you guys and I hope you still enjoyed it. Tell me your favorite wigs that you tried in 2022 in the description box and tell me what you're looking forward to seeing in the new year. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. All these wigs and the reviews and everything will be in the description box for you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.